the navigation map pane has many features that users should become familiar with. One of the most significant and unique features of Garmin Pilot is the radial menu. This menu comes into view with a single tap on any location on the navigation map. You can then drag the radial menu to highlight features on the map to learn more about that feature. When highlighting an airport, you'll see a number of icons appear around the radial. For example, with KMIC highlighted, you'll see icon selections for airspaces, airways, TFRs, NOTAMs, weather, routing, user waypoint creation, a direct to selector, and an airport symbol. You can take an action or select to learn more about features by touching the desired icon. In the circle in the middle of the radial menu, you can see the distance, magnetic direction, and elevation of that location. Selecting the airport icon opens a quick airport information window that shows general information, such as airport elevation, the best runway based on winds, along with the type of surface and length of that runway, and a frequency summary. If you want to see other frequencies, selecting the Frequencies tab provides for the full list of available frequencies. Selecting the Runway tab provides more details about the runway at that airport. The Procedures tab shows the airport diagram, if available, along with all of the instrument procedures. And selecting the Fuel tab shows prices for fuel at the airport. On this information window, you can also see an icon shaped like a satellite. Selecting that provides an overhead image of the airport in a north up orientation. Selecting the I symbol in the upper right opens the airport information page, where you'll find a large number of resources concerning operations at that airport. With the IFR map selected for display as shown here, you'll see airports depicted in three colors. Blue is used to depict airports with a control tower, Green is used to depict uncontrolled airports that have instrument procedures available. And brown is used to depict uncontrolled airports with no instrument procedures available. When in planning mode, the entire route line for a flight plan will appear in white. And the entire route can be viewed by touching the route icon. When navigating mode has been selected, the active leg will appear in magenta. Intersections along the route are shown with cyan-colored triangles, and ground-based navigation aids are reflected with standard symbols shown in cyan. Another unique feature of Garmin Pilot is the ability to measure the distance and magnetic bearing between any two points on the map by placing two fingers on the map and then placing the arrow tips over the points of interest. This is the distance measuring tool. Airspaces are depicted on the map with colored outlines. Light blue is used to depict Class B airspace, and by zooming in, you can see the altitude restrictions associated with the airspace. Purple is used to outline Military Operations Areas, or MOAs, and these MOAs will have an additional overlay outlined in orange and filled with hatched lines when a NOTAM indicates the area is active. An amber outline of an MOA indicates upcoming activity. Dark blue is used to depict special event TFRs. And red is used to depict security or VIP TFRs. Zooming in on MOAs and TFRs provides text describing the activity and the affected altitudes. Tapping the airspace and then selecting either NOTAM or TFR brings up more details concerning the airspace. Gray outlines and hatching indicate an FDC NOTAM, as seen here near the Sioux Gateway Airport. Tapping on this area and then the NOTAM selection brings up the complete text of the NOTAM. When two NOTAMs are posted for one area, tapping the screen in that area and then selecting NOTAM brings up a selector for you to choose the one of interest. When Air Route Traffic Control Center Flight Information Region Boundaries are selected for display, 
these boundaries will show in blue. Tapping on an area within a boundary line depicts the area covered by that ARTCC, along with the name of the ARTCC and frequencies used in the area. Another significant unique feature of Garmin Pilot is the ability to view the navigation map while viewing additional information in a split screen pane. To activate split screen mode, select the arrow that appears on the right side while in landscape mode and at the bottom of the display when in portrait mode. While in this mode, each pane is controlled independently, providing two independent viewing areas. A long list of features can be activated for display in the split screen pane. The options can be seen by selecting the icon that appears above the split screen arrow. Users should explore these options to determine which of the available features would best contribute to their situational awareness. Many users display the flight plan in the split screen pane. It should be noted here that while we have been showing the map in a north up view, many users prefer the track up view that will align the map view with your track once you're airborne. An important consideration when making your selection is how maps are configured in any installed avionics. These map alignments should be similar to prevent confusion. Now that you're familiar with the navigation map in Garmin Pilot, please move on to the next video in this series, covering electronic charts.